Hey guys, Jelly here, and um, today I've decided to, um, I have a new goal for my channel, and my goal is to be your national champion for Yu-Gi-Oh. I know this is kind of crazy, right? Um, but I've decided to make this my new goal of the channel. That means we're going to be testing out all the meta decks, all decks that I think could be meta, and we're going to take a look at all of them and break them kind of down here and there. We're going to look at the decks at top and what to watch out for in the road matchups, and I'm going to be looking for any problem decks that could, or any problems that should be here, and obviously we're going to take... Um, right now, my main look is going to be at the meta that we're going to be probably seeing for this event, or for the Nationals this uh, this year. Obviously, um, I'll go through the top. These are the top 10 decks, I feel like, that you should be fearing right now. Uh, the first is obviously Spellbooks. Um, with the judge with Spellbook, Spellbook Judgment Day, I think this deck is retarded. Like, just nuts. Like, this is way too much advantage. I feel like this is going to be the worst deck to play at, against that Nationals. And then, um, obviously, Mermills. Um, Mermills are going to have a trouble because of the evil swarms that are coming up because of their uh, main edge lead. But even though they're like you can't build pure Mermills anymore, the Genix on then build is going to be able to just dominate that by being able to destroy it. Going, just going Undyne, destroy with infantry is enough to just stop them completely. Um, then obviously we have Elemental Dragons. I think the Elemental Dragons are also going to be having a problem with Opian. I feel like that's going to be one of the main problems that deck has. Um, Windups. I still think this is a competitive deck. Uh, I think you have to worry about it a little bit. I wouldn't make it a main issue, so I think actually that might be my choice because I like windups as they are. Um, obviously, rabbit. This goes with the this either goes with macro um, macro dino rabbit or macro versus rabbit versus evil swarm version of rabbit. And then um, we got evil swarms with Ophi in the deck is um, nuts and is a really hard matchup for just about any deck this format. So we're gonna see how that ends up being. I don't know how well they're gonna do this format compared to other ones, but I feel like I, I don't know how well they're gonna be able to. Uh, fairy on spell books and um, mermills this format so I know there's still a problem um, then fire fist of course being another big threat I don't I feel like fire fist have a lot of weaknesses in the fact that they're crippled so heavily by uh, such a simple card as forbidden lands so I feel like that'll be one of the main problems I think we're going to see a, a couple of concellers in the top there I know it's a really good deck especially if they can open them with their star chart um, that's going to be my main worry about them I'm going to try to figure out how to side deck versus all of these and make sure I have the best side deck for that um, right now I have to worry about um, my regionals coming up in two weeks, so we gotta watch out. So I gotta start preparing for that. I'm gonna play windups there for sure. I love the deck. Um, now that it's one magician, I don't know why. I, like, I just like the decks when they're a little bit worse. Like I felt like it was just too strong, too easy. Now I think it requires more still. Um, I put ten plate goldfish in here because um, gadgets are gonna be. Pro I feel like gadgets are gonna be a big problem for a lot of the decks that are out right now. Um, the fact that they can go tin plate into a gadget. And to gear and gear gear in, then discard to add tin plate back to hand. They can just do this next turn, and they can do this consecutively. Along with that, if they hit an avarice in there, they're plusing more. So I mean, they don't lose advantage a lot of being able to draw a lot. Um, with the and then they have um gear frame, and then gear gear and also abuse, and then you have to watch out for all the gear gear variants and all the card trees and all that stuff. So I feel like machines in general are going to be a threat for a lot of people, and I think you have to watch out for those. Why the hell? Whatever. Um, and then um we got keys on. So cheese, and then I put cheese on here for the samurais. Um, with the triple smoke signal, I think they're really a threat. They can open up with Shien game one a lot more easily than they could before. Whereas I feel like you have to worry about them more, a lot more. But I feel like um, the element. I feel like decks like elemental dragons and mermills are gonna be uh, are gonna be the reason this deck hasn't played as much. The fact that they have no problem dropping stuff that can just easily run over the keys on is really one of the main, or easily run over Shien is really a main issue for the deck. I feel like if someone gets a variant that doesn't focus on dropping Shein turn 1 as much as making a control and kind of keeping advantage up, which is the problem Samurais have, will be able, like if they have a, if they focus on being able to get gateway to hand, something like that, I feel like that will be a lot more consistent and it'll be a lot more dangerous and we'll have to watch out for it. Because gateway really opens up the win conditions for that along with all the other cards in there. So I feel like if someone played a control build on the deck, it would run a lot. I feel like it could just. I feel like it could just win. Then, like you know, you have the Sheen Derp, and then you have the. And then if you played the control build where you only run few, a few samurais, I feel like this deck could be better than it is right now, especially with the fact that they have four searchers in the deck. Um, but really, that's just my opinion. I feel like um all these decks here. I feel like there's gonna be something else that I'm missing. Um, Insectors might. I think Insectors will still be trouble. If you, you'll probably play a few of those here and there because they they haven't been hit at all and they're kind of cheap right now. So I'd watch out for Insectors too. But all these decks right now, um, I need to. F I want to build a, uh, an extra deck that can compensate to beat all of these. Um, Bailers right now are going to be huge in, in this format. Be I I wouldn't main them though because they're not going to do anything versus the Mermail matchup or the Spellbook matchup. They'll hurt the Rabbit matchup, but if they're not, but if they have a lot of rabbits, will be playing Fisher in the main deck. 
or macro, so you have to watch out for that. Um, I feel like they hurt windups. Um, Fire Fist, they're gonna like. I feel like Baylor is one of the main, big cards you're meaning in this format as main deck, especially um, especially with chaos. So I'm gonna say Valor, so you want to keep main deck. Um, Gores and Trag, you're gonna be able, you're gonna need it in a main deck like every deck except for these like explosive top. If you're not playing in the top ten decks here, because all the decks are gonna be explosive. But with Evil Storms, um, versus Evil Storms, you're gonna die a lot. I mean that deck is that deck's um once they drop Ophion, the deck is basically Ophion or die. Right now you have a, it has plays, but Ophian is really their main win condition, so their goal is to drop Ophian and make sure you can't get anything big on the board to stop their Ophian. I mean, they're going to be playing all the back row destruction, all that fun stuff, and they have a lot of advantage plays. So I feel like um, the really the the out decks right now are Rabbit and Ophian. They're really they're the meta decks, but they're a lot different than these other ones. I'd say these are all tier one to high tier two decks. So I'd watch out for all of these decks. You're going to be playing at an event soon. Obviously, you don't have to worry about Constellers. Um, gadgets are still in trouble without tin plates, so I'd watch out for gadgets. But obviously, tin stellars, um, spell books to a lesser degree because they don't have judgment yet. Mermills are mermills are the main deck you're gonna be have to having to watch out for now in this point in the format. So I'd be I'd be making sure I pay attention to how good that deck is doing. Um, make sure you find counters to that. Make sure your deck can easily counter it. But it's one of those decks where it's just so good right now because it doesn't have a really huge it doesn't have a hard counter deck out there that's better than it. Whereas it'll get that once evil swarms are out. Um, obviously, Macro Rabbit's gonna be taken sp taken spot still. Windups are gonna be taken places of what the good player behind um, gadgets. All that stuff is. Gonna, I'd watch out for all these decks here because I feel like they all have shots at winning events, and kind of some of them will have a shock factor and be able to win here or there. That's just my opinion right now on the format, how it's looking to turn out. We'll see how it is. I'll be working on extra working on an extra deck that can help destroy all these decks that I can start setting up for nationals. We'll see how it is. Um, but that's it for now, guys. I'll s thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.